Hello and welcome to this video on Unity 3D C Sharp and this is on GUI Math. This is Lesson 11. Uh, make sure that you completed Lesson 10 before you start this one or you, this may not make sense. What I've got here obviously is some integer arithmetic that I'm showing through the GUI and I'm using all the different functions. The addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and keep in mind this is integer arithmetic here so you would this looks a little bit weird but it's uh, integer division this is the module operator now what's cool about this is I can come down here in my inspector panel and I have a value of x that I can change uh, and let's say I make x a 6 now it changes up here I can now change the value of y uh, to a 3, for example, and I can see the behavior of integer arithmetic for these various functions. And this is a good tool for learning how does this stuff actually work. So let's look at the code for doing this, and I'm going to turn this off here. And the um, code that I used, the C-sharp code, was called my calculator, and I've done the code ahead of time just so I don't bore you with a lot of typing. But let's go through what we've got here. We've got the GUI skin, which we made public, and we've attached it to uh, the program. Now, this is what we illustrated in the previous lesson. So if you don't understand this, please go back to the previous lesson, Lesson 10. These are my two public uh, variables. Uh, uh, an, an int x and an int y, which I initialize to 1 and a 2 here. And then I have another integer variable, which is private by default, uh, which is called the answer. And right now I initialize that to 0. Now I have the function that I made called on GUI, which is all this stuff right here. And you recall on the, the function on GUI is a reserve function in Unity. And simply what it means is that this is going to be refreshed for every frame. And here's where I set the GUI skin, as I illustrated in the previous uh, video. Now, the answer is going to be the sum of X and Y. And the label now is a new rectangle. That's its location, uh, where it is on X and Y. This is the width, and this is the height. And now it's going to have the value of X. In this case, it'll be a 1. Uh, con concatenated, concatenated with the string, and here's where I begin the string, space, plus sign, space, um, end of string, concatenated with the value of y, uh, uh, concatenated with the string, uh, space equals uh, space, uh, concatenated with the answer. And so when I do this, this is the one that gives me this dude up here. Let me move this out here so, so we can see it. And I get this guy here. Uh, that's what gives me this. This right here. So let me let me bring this up here so you can see it. Okay. Does this right here whoops, make sense of what you see up here? Okay. There's the value of x, which is a 1. There's the string plus with a space in both sides of it. There's the value of y, which is started out with the 2. And there's the answer. Where did the answer come from? For the 3, it came right from here. Okay, because I did an addition. Now, if I look down here, I'm going to do the answer. It's now going to be a subtraction, which, of course, is this one here. And all I did is I moved this down. Instead of being a y value of 10, it now has a y value of 90, same width, uh, same height, and then the value of x, which is a 1, and then now it's a subtraction for the string, okay, and then a concatenate with the value of y, and so on. And that's what I did for the various ones uh, that you see. So all the stuff right here is essentially the same kind of coding. The only thing that's the exception is I concatenated a string on here that said integer arithmetic. And the reason why I did that is so that when you saw the results of this division, 
you didn't think anything was you wouldn't think anything was wrong. We remind you that in Ninja arithmetic, I don't have any decimal places. So this is a good way of, of testing out the system and seeing what integer arith arithmetic does. It's also a good way of illustrating some of the really pretty cool stuff that you can do uh, in Unity with uh, C Sharp. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching.